what fun. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Is your fucking membership fee. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they done to Henry. Damn it, Joe. See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gun while you were at it? I got the asshole behind the bar. They do they home up. Come on. What you asked? Watch out! They shoot the ball up top! Vito, let's move up! So it's on Kuya! I think I understand that, Kuya! Four more to go! I could have got you! He's dead! Stop there from the window! <laughs> Come on, Vito! Shot him who they fucked with! <laughs> Bingo! Where the fuck are they all coming? Oh, you fuck with the wrong guy, get ya! <laughs> Watch out, here comes more of them! Yeah, I'm, I'm going. <gasps> Kill them all! Every last one of them! Alright, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks, fat ass. Hey, you said we gotta do this smart, right? Take them out quick, quick Vito! We gotta find one! You ain't so tough! Where the hell is that? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. Come out! Just keep going. How many more they got back there? Don't matter. I got plenty of bullets left.
quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What?! Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room! If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be open enough for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Where you going, Vito? That's the way we came in. Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Our 
Roger that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Back me up. That's cool. Scared asshole! They teach you that in the army? You shoot like my sister. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. Requesting a roadblock near the Chinatown subway station. deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. I'll call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready, you just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. 
Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while and he just found him. They were afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got it coming to him then. But wait, if he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Man, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg foo young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. What's up your ass today? gotta say? Yeah. All right. Here we go then. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, it's about six feet tall, dark hairs, we can go! Side here. Suspect is armed. Green field. Now, God damn it! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. That he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Oh fuck! That was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Suspect is about 60. What the fuck? Oh. Cop 
Copy that. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Hey, go take a nap or something. See that light turn red? All right, good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later.
only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Please come again. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how Stunajis are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Eee, 